So here I have selected outer brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and draw out something right like this. So I'm just going to go around and draw out a random pattern right here as you can see. So let's say what I want to do is I want to color this out. So in that case, I can go around, select out a brush I want, and then I can go around, select out a color I want, and then I can start drawing out the color right here. Simply start uh, scrubbing out the color right here. But once I do that, you can see that the color stays on top and not uh, go behind the lines directly. So if you want the color to go behind, I'm just going to press Ctrl Z to go back a step right here. Under the um, brush properties, I need to scroll down. So just scroll down and here you can see the drop behind tool right here. So once you do that, as you color uh, and click and drag around, you can see that the color is on the top right here. So what you do is you start filling up. And as you complete out coloring, what happens is that it goes behind right here, as you can see. So now you can go around and then select out other colors over here as well. And you, uh, it does not matter if you overlap out with the current drawings, as you can see right here. So you can go around, draw around right here. Let me just go around and draw like this. And what happens is at the end, it just goes behind right here. So let me just press Ctrl Z right here. Uh, let me just go around. And then you can see that as I draw around, it actually goes behind right here, just like this. So you can go around and be um, assured that everything will go behind. So similarly, you can go around, select out other color as you wish right here. And then as I draw right here, you can see that I can trace around right here. Let me just press Ctrl Z. So you can go around and color out just like this. So it'll all go behind right here just like this and uh, won't affect the linings on the top right here. So you can go around right here just like this. You can go around and start drawing over here. So just draw, draw, draw. And even if you were to accidentally draw out somewhere else, nothing happens because uh, there's already a color there, there and uh, it just draws behind. If you want to draw on top uh, top again, then you just disable the draw behind tool and you can draw out on the top once more. So let me just press Ctrl Z because this is not what I want. So that is how you can use the draw behind tool to color out items behind. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.